हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर आभा कुमारी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स निर्मला कॉलेज रांची टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अ चैप्टर फ्रॉम द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड दस इज माय सेकंड लेक्चर इन ऑर्थोकोनल ट्रैजेक्टरी इज ऑर्थोकोनल ट्रैजेक्टरी इन पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स to find the orthogonal trajectory in polar coordinate first we draw the figure which help us to draw the polar coordinate so for this we first take the o as the origin and ox as the x axis then a curve is drawn here and thereafter we draw a tangent to this curve and again we draw a, another curve and we draw a tangent to this curve and put this point as p then angle of this curve and a tangent is phi and the angle between the second curve and second curve and this one is phi dash therefore the angle between the these two tangents is 90 degree since they are perpendicular to each other and this 90 degree is phi minus phi dash and this is pi by 2 now we made this point to the origin which gives a radial vector r and let the points of this curve as f r theta c equals to 0 now the theorem is to find the orthogonal trajectory of the family of curve f r theta c equals to 0 where c being a parameter here we have draw the figure we have discussed in the previous page so we are not going to discuss here so the equation of the curve is f r theta c equals to 0 put it equation number 1 now differentiating 1 with respect to theta and eliminating c between 1 and the derived result we shall obtained the differential equation of the family the desired derived result it means after differentiation of equation number 1 what the result we are getting is the derived result since it is not possible here to derive the uh, differentiating one and find the result ex exactly that's why we have just write it here so derived result so we shall obtain the differential equation of the family and let the differential equation so obtain b capital f r theta dr by d theta equals to 0 and we will put this equation as equation number 2 let p be the point of intersection of any member of 1 this equation with the trajectory let phi be the angle this one let phi be the angle made by the tangent to 1 since this is the curve and we have taken this curve as equation number 1 at p with the radius vector so tan phi equals to r d theta by dr and let phi dash this phi dash let phi dash be the angle made by the tangent to the trajectory at p with the radius vector okay with the radius vector therefore from figo the angle between the two tangent is your phi minus phi dash which since here this is phi minus phi dash so if the two tangents are at right angle then we can write from the figo phi minus phi dash equals to pi by 2 now taking a tan on both side we have tan phi minus phi dash equals to tan pi by 2 and by simplifying this we get the tan phi minus tan phi dash divided by 1 plus tan phi into tan phi dash equals to infinity and this value can be written as 1 by 0
Now on simplifying, we have tan 1 plus tan 5 into tan 5 dash equals to 0. And this implies tan 5 into tan 5 dash equals to minus 1. And this implies the value tan 5 dash equals to minus 1 by tan 5. And here we put the value of tan 5 as r d theta by dr as we have discussed in the earlier page. So this will, equal, will be equals to minus dr divided by r d theta. Thus, if phi and phi dash are the angles made by the tangent to 1 and its trajectories, made by the tangent and its trajectories. So, first one is, if the trajectories are orthogonal, then we have tan phi dash tan phi equal to minus 1. Trajectories means the line perpendicular we have the curve the curve ne se jo curve ke upar jo perpendicular line mila hame to wahan pe hum define karte hain tan phi dash aur dusra hai second wale curve ke according tan phi to kyunki ye orthogonal hai so trajectories are orthogonal and therefore tan phi dash into tan phi equals to minus 1 this implies tan phi dash equals to minus 1 by tan phi and this equals to minus 1 by r d theta by dr and this is equals to minus dr divided by r d theta. So again we get the same point that tan phi dash equals to minus dr by r d theta. Earlier we have seen if the tangents are at right angle then we get minus dr by r d theta. Here we are getting that if the trajectories are orthogonal then again we get minus dr by r d theta. So here we can say that the equation of the orthogonal trajectories will be obtained by replacing r d theta by dr by minus 1 by dr by d theta or we can say that dr by d theta by minus r square d theta by dr. Here we have just inverse the r d theta by dr from here and write it here dr by d theta and then this value will comes minus r square d theta by dr. Hence the differential equation of the family of orthogonal trajectories from 2. The two second equation is f r theta dr by d theta equals to 0. So, we get the equation as f r theta minus r square d theta by dr equals to 0. So, here we note that while obtaining the orthogonal trajectory in polar coordinate, we have to follow some rules. And what are these rules? The number one is differentiate the given equation and eliminate the constant. So first we have to differentiate and thereafter we have to eliminate the constant values. Thereafter we will replace dr by d theta by minus r square d theta by dr or we can replace r d theta by dr by minus 1 by dr by d theta. Third one is now integrate the new differential equation thus obtained and solution will be the required equation of the orthogonal trajectories. Thank you. Hope you like my lecture. If you like, please like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you.